Hi guys, it's Di. I'm just, uh, it's morning now. I did the salt bars yesterday afternoon. Um, so I'm just going to see how, if they unmold without giving me too much difficulty. Um, oh, I suppose it's... Okay, now what I ended up doing was I was just going to leave them to sit overnight, but I noticed a few other soapers tended to put theirs in the oven for a little bit. So I ended up doing that. Um, I basically stuck it in an oven. It would have been around 170, maybe a little bit less than that. Now if we're talking Celsius, it was about about 60 degrees and um, what I did was I preheated my oven first and um, then I switched it off just before I stuck them in. I did notice because my oven's fan forced that it was cooling down quite quickly so basically after about 15 minutes I turned it back up for a little bit and then once that got just a little bit warm again then I switched it off again and I left them there for about, about an hour and a half I guess until they were sort of a little bit firm on the top. Um, I noticed that they did seem to be have a little bit of oil coming out. These are actually, they're, they're not touching the end here. I'm just being really careful because I've got so many of them in there. I, I kind of want to lift it all at the same time so that I don't break off any corners. So we'll see how this goes. lot still a little bit moist on top but that's that's because they were they had a fair bit of oil coming out and I don't know if that's because of heating it I think it did have something to do with it plus as I said I super fatted these at 20% um, just to see Now I did do a little bit of a drop swirl but because of the small cavities that they were in obviously most of the benefit of that's probably on top and underneath. Rather than being all on the sides. And they're still a little bit oily, but I'm sure they will dry out quite quickly. But they really came out of this mould quite easily, and I think it's because of all that oil. So, oh, there you go, there's a little bit more texture on that one, but that's okay. Next time I might be better off actually, because my mixture stayed fairly loose, I might be better off doing an in the pot swirl before I stick them in which a lot of people probably think you can't do with salt bars but you know I really had to wait for this mixture to thicken up to even pour it 
So I think if I keep this about the same, depending on how these turn out, you know, in the end, I'm not really going to get a full idea of that until they dry out. Slide it, see if that'll help me not damage the top too much. They did keep their brightness as well. I was a little bit worried they were going to fade, and over time they may fade a little bit more, but I'm happy with the colours. They've stayed quite bright. Just grab that other one. Just give that a little bit of a wipe so it doesn't dent my other ones that I'm going to take out. And as you can see, it's they're lifting away um, from the sides anyway. I did try to unmould my other two little backup flowery ones that I did yesterday with the little bit of extra batter, but it was a little bit too soon. Um, we'll give you a look at those in a minute. Uh, had the tiniest little bit of crumbling at the corner, but I just wanted to see, you know, I, I'd noticed some people had said that after a couple of hours they'd unmolded them. But with my mixture being a little bit, a um, little bit oilier to start with, I think I would wait, definitely wait overnight until I unmolded them. Okay, I chipped a couple off in this batch. Maybe I was a little bit quicker than the last last lot. Majority of them are okay. I've probably chipped two, but that'll be fine because there are a couple that I can just keep for myself. I've never made, this was the first batch of salt bars I've ever made. And I've never used a salt bar. Um, I guess over in Australia, I hadn't never really heard of them. Um, and they're probably here, but um, you know, they're not something that you see a lot of. So. They sounded lovely when everyone described using them though, so I thought, well, I'll have a go at this and see how they turn out. So I'm pretty happy, to be honest, with this, being that it's my first attempt. I don't know, I might tweak the recipe just a fraction. Um, all this excess oil might be because I super fatted so high. But the reason I did that was I just wanted to make sure that they were really moisturising to use other than just being briny. Um, whether that will work for me or not, I won't know probably for a couple of weeks. Damn. I'll have to get this on a drying rack pretty quickly. Um, Slide this one off so I don't lose too much of the top. Still a little bit moist. Um, that could be because of how long I let them set in the oven. You know, perhaps I needed a little bit longer. The weather here is quite cool at the moment too, so it's not really 
that's partly why I put them in the oven. Okay, so there you have it. They're quite bright. They've um, held up quite good. And over the next couple of weeks, we'll see how they turn out. Okay, thanks everyone for watching. I forgot to show you um, how my other two turned out that I had stuck in the flower moulds. So there's one of them. And they, they would have come out quite good, I think, if I'd just given it that little bit longer. So that's one. And that's the other one. So as you can see, I lost just a little bit on the top there. But um, the mixture held up quite good, really, considering all the little dents around the bottom. Okay, thank you.